What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are doing Prime Cristiano Ronaldo on current Real Madrid with Mbappe. So, I did this video already, and I did the whole season, I had it all edited, and I accidentally deleted it. And yeah, I'm pretty pissed about that, so I'm refilming it right now. We won the Copa Espana, we won the league. By goal differential, we were tied on points with 85 with Barca, and Atletico had 83 at the end of the season. But we beat Barca 48-44 on goal differential. And I forget Ronaldo's stats, but he finished the season with like 38 goals or something. And then and Mbappe was like not having a great season. He had like 19 goals or something like that. And obviously, I simmed all the way to October, so they added on a few more goals. And Ronaldo still had more like at the start of the next season. And I went to the Ballon d'Or, and Mbappe won the Ballon d'Or somehow, and doesn't really make any sense. But we had, we lost, we, and also in that we lost in the Champions League semifinals, to, semifinals to Inter. And the last thing was, and the Euros is won by Germany, if you care about that, and stuff like that. Basically, the base of this is that I've taken all the stats from the 94 gold card from FIFA 17 of Cristiano Ronaldo, and put them on this card. And definitely throughout the season, he'll definitely go down a little bit and stuff, but he, he'll still be good. And he should be a 94, but the game hasn't put us a 92. It's whatever. The stats are still what they need to be. And yeah, we're just going to sim through the first month and a bit of the season with Ronald, Prime Ronaldo and Mbappe on Real Madrid. All right, at the end of the first month and a bit, we are October 2nd, 2023. We won our, la our latest game against Girona, 4-1. And these are some of the other games with it be Atletico Madrid. We are undefeated, no draws, no losses, only wins so far. So let's see the stats of Cristiano Ronaldo. And in nine matches, Ronaldo has ten goals in La Liga. Or he has nine nine matches, eleven goals, one assist, ten goals in eight La Liga appearances, one goal and one assist in his one match against FC Union in the Champions League. Vinny's also on fire, and what is, uh, <clears throat> um, and again, again, Mbappe getting overshadowed by Ronaldo, this is exactly like in the last one, in the first, like, nine or ten games of the last one, he had one goal and one assist, like, you have zero this time, and he ends up winning the Ballon d'Or, if he wins the Ballon d'Or again, I swear I'm done. This game is broken. Everyone's against Ronaldo. Like, <laughs> like this is just crazy. I don't know how he's doing so bad. All right, yeah, but we're going to sim another couple months. All right, we're here, middle of December, at the end of the Champions League group stage. And funny enough, the 2023 Ballon d'Or was given to Haaland, which should have happened in real life, but, you know, <clears throat> FIFA and Messi. But anyways, we are first... In La Liga, 14 wins, 1 draw, 1 loss, only 10 goals against in 16 matches. Things you love to see. Now let's look at Cristiano Ronaldo's stats. 22 matches, 21 goals, 5 assists. This is a lot better than he was doing last time. Like At this point, I think he had, in the first 5 Champions League games, he had 1 goal. And then he had Hatcher against Union. So he only had 4 goals in 6 games. And... Right now, he has six goals and three assists in six matches. And La Liga, I think he's doing around just as good. He might have been, he might have had like 17, 18 at this point in the last one. But 15 goals, two assists in 16 matches. But yeah, he's doing amazing again. And again, Mbappe is underperforming because Ronaldo's just outperforming him, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, obviously, Ronaldo's down minus one now, but it's fine. He's still, still good. And if I can, I'm going to try to get the Portugal national team offer. So when we sim to October 2024 near the end, hopefully maybe I can get uh, Ronaldo on Portugal to hopefully do something in the Euros. And obviously I'm not going to play. I'm just going to sim. But hopefully that'll help maybe get him the Ballon d'Or. So obviously that's the goal to see if we can get him the Ballon d'Or and how he would do on... <clears throat> on how That was really bad. On how he could do in his prime on current Real Madrid. Now let's go sim another month. 
All right, we're in the middle of February. We are tied 1-1 on aggregate against Inter Milan, who beat us in the deleted one in semifinals. We're against them in the round of 16. And yeah, we had a pretty good little while. We're still first. We're running away with the La Liga by far. Running away. Copa de España. We are in the semifinals. And in the Supercopa. We beat Barcelona in the finals 2-1. to one. All right, now let's see how Cristiano Ronaldo has done up to this point. 31 goals and 9 assists. 23 goals, 4 assists, and 24 La Liga appearances. 6 goals, 3 assists, and 7 Champions League appearances. 1 goal, 2 assists, and 4 Copa de España appearances. 1 goal, yeah, one goal and 2 Supercopa appearances. Which in the Supercopa in the last one, he only played the two games. And he did not score or get an assist in either one of them. So I'm happy he got a goal in every competition this time. And Mbappe, again, not playing very, very well. 11 goals, 6 assists. And we have not gotten the Portugal offer yet. But if I do get the Portugal offer, I will make sure to let you guys know. Alright, let's see him a little bit more. Middle of March 2024, we have been eliminated against Inter Milan in the round of 16 this time. Unfortunately, unfortunately, do we have, we have the Poland international offer. We do not want that. Shit. We did not, we have not gotten the Portugal offer and we lost in the Champions League. Damn. Let's see how we were doing in La Liga. We we're still running away with La Liga. 23-3-3. Three three. You love to see it. And Cristiano Ronaldo's stats. 36 goals, 10 assists, 44 appearances. 7 goals, 3 assists, and 8 Champions League appearances. 26 goals, 5 assists, and 29 La Liga appearances. So he has 9 games to beat his total of 28 goals from the last one. 2 goals, 2 assists, and 5 Copa de España appearances. And Bappe is still not doing very well. Vinny Jr. doing pretty well. Well, just as good as Mbappe, but Bappe is a striker. Vinny's on the wing. But yeah, let's simulate a little while longer. All right. It is April 2024. We are top of the league by seven points. We had just lost 2-1 to Barcelona. And I'm in the red zone some for some reason, unfortunately. And... Ronaldo has 40 goals and 11 assists in 48 appearances. 28 goals in La Liga already. 4 goals in Copa de España. I've read the rest of them already before. And Mbappe. And still not doing very good. And I want to say, we're, yeah, we're, I've been starting Rodrigo. I forgot to start him in the last one. So I had Valverde on the wing. And then I had Modric and Bellingham in the midfield. But now I've taken Modric out and I have. I've been doing Rodrigo this season, but it looks like he, he's been taken out by the AI. He hasn't been playing all the games, unfortunately, but still 27 appearances, 5 goals, 5 assists. It's all right. It's all right. And now let's sim to the end of the season. We're at the end of the season. We have not got an international management offer, very, very unfortunately. But we have indeed won the league. 92 points. We have won La Liga. And we have we also did win. We did win the Copa de España. So we got the double. We take that very, very much. Ronaldo finished the season. 45 goals, 15 assists, 38 appearances, 33 goals, 10 assists in La Liga. Definitely got top score there. Seven goals in the Champions League. Insane, insane. Oh, yeah, and in our last one, Foden had 18 goals in the Champions League and 12 assists. It was in, or in 12 appearances, it was insane. But let's look at the player stats. Player stats: Ronaldo, top of La Liga, like we suspected, top of La Liga in assist. That's a bit of a surprise, but that's insane. And Mbappe, top of the Supercopa, Copa de España, Ronaldo, top in goals, third in assist, and. In the UEFA Champions League, Ronaldo 4th in goals and 12th in assists. We like to see that. Okay. 
Okay, I still have not got the Portugal offer, but I'm going to assume until the next season. Alright, here we are at the start of the new season. Obviously, we did not get the Portugal job, so we are not able to have Ronaldo play in the Euros, which is very, very unfortunate. And, um, yeah, that kind of sucks, but we're in the red zone, so I'm going to have to do a couple of these objectives here to get us out of it, So, which should be pretty easy. And, yeah, I'm going to sim all the way to October for the Ballon d'Or ceremony, and I wasn't able to get the parade for the double. I totally forgot. But I don't know if you guys, you can search that up on YouTube or whatever. Or if you play the game, you've probably seen the animations. They're all the same. But yeah, it was cool to have won the double. Belgium win the European Championship. So our goalkeeper, Courtois, is a European champion. Goalkeeper of the tournament, Courtois. And Mbappe. I'm pretty sure this is a glitch. This is supposed to be for the Golden Boot for the Euros. And he won the Euros Golden Boot, but was not a part of the team of the tournament. I don't know if he was in the last one, but I know he didn't win. I don't think he won the Golden Boot, and I know he didn't win the tournament. So I don't know if that's what helped him win the Ballon d'Or in the last one. But if he wins it this time, they just give it to a Bappe every time if he wins it. Because, yeah, that's just stupid. But, all right. Yeah, let's send him to the Ballon d'Or ceremony. Little update. Vinny Jr.'s release clause got bought, so I have Garnacho here to play with his idol, Ronaldo. Because, why the hell not? Alright, now let's go to the Ballon d'Or ceremony. Alright, we're here, almost at the Ballon d'Or ceremony. And, um, a little update on the team. Valver oh, Valverde's still on the team, but he got sold. But we're at the ceremony, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But yeah, he sold for some reason. I think he had a release clause as well, so he also got sold, which sucks. But we're coming up on the Ballon d'Or ceremony. Let's see what Ronaldo and Mbappe have done up to this point to maybe boost themselves. Mbappe having a bit of a better season. Ronaldo still almost a goal contribution per game. Obviously, the GOAT dominating in the Champions League, but La Liga not as good as this our last season. But... I think based on his last season stats compared to Mbappe's, he should win. But let's see what this fucking game does. Let's be honest. Who knows what they'll do. Okay. Okay, so you can, oh, wait, I was going to check who got the assist, but it doesn't show. So you can add one Mbappe goal to his tally that we saw before. And let's see, last time I went into the news and I saw the winner, so let's go into this blind and see who's going to win the Ballon d'Or 2024. One more match. Mbappe getting another goal. I feel like they're going to recency bias give it to Mbappe, I swear. That would be ridiculous. So one of the two won. Who's going to win the Ballon d'Or? Your Ballon d'Or winner. Oh! Cristiano Ronaldo! Ballon d'Or number six should be number seven. Ronaldo wins the Ballon d'Or, baby, and didn't even have to play the Euros. Fuck you, Kylian Mbappe. Oh, so you know now when they sit in the middle, when they sit in the middle between their two teammates that they won. I know that now. Let's go. Let's go. Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, so that's, that's the end of the video, guys. That was pretty fun. Ronaldo won the Ballon d'Or. I know this is technically not the first time I did it, but also last time there was a few things like not putting Rodrigo in, so I technically didn't have the best team, blah, blah, blah. And we 
technically we also went farther in the Champions League last time. So if anything, this time it would have been harder for him to win, and he still won it. So that's what happens if you put. That's what happens when we put prime Ronaldo on current Real Madrid with Kylian Mbappe. He won the Ballon d'Or and like two trophies. So yeah, that was pretty sick. All right, see you guys in a bit. Peace.